everyone and thank you for tuning into my channel. I am in front of my Christmas tree. I thought this would be fitting for this video. And this is basically my 2016 reflection video. And I thought I would just come on here and tell you how my 2016 went. The good, the bad, everything in between. And just let you guys know how my 2016. First off, if you've never been to my channel, welcome okay um i started off this channel doing planner videos plan with me planner hauls productivity and then i slowly started incorporating lifestyle videos so if you've been seeing lifestyle videos on my channel and you like them give them a thumbs up and all that stuff and i'm still doing my planner videos and all of that that's never going to go away and i just want to incorporate more lifestyle that way you know if you like something other than planners you can also like my other videos. So anyway, I just want to kind of come on here and tell you guys how my 2016 went within the planner community, my personal life, all of that stuff. Uh, my 2016 actually started off okay. Me and my husband were looking for a house in the end of January to like the beginning of February. We are we found our house that we're in right now, and I love my home. I love it, love it, love it. I love being here. So it'll be almost a year. It's almost a year. It'll be about a year at the end of January. Um, and then February, you know, tragedy struck. I lost a really, really good friend of mine on February 11th. Um, I've known him like longer than I know my husband. I've known my husband 16 years. So I've known him almost, almost 18, about 17 years. And so that was, that was really hard. And then... You know, I slowly started getting back into making planner videos, like doing hauls and all of that. I wasn't really taking my channel seriously at all. Um, it wasn't until I really started doing my changing how I plan video on here that I started to get more into doing videos. And changing how I plan that video and the entitlement and the planning community are probably like in my top, top top five most watched videos. It is one of it's those videos where I didn't expect it to I didn't expect the videos to go as big as they did, but they did. <laughs> yeah, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm glad that people still find them and people still find them informative and all that stuff. So, you know, 2016 was big for me in the planning community because that's when I started figuring out how I wanted to plan and how I wanted to use my planner and that's when I started figuring out okay this is the type of content I want to put out. I love doing my plan with me videos but I knew that I wanted to start doing productivity because I think on top of everything productivity is the most important whether you use a planner or productivity in your life your personal life you know whether it's you know taking care of your home or going to work and being productive or being productive with your kids or your spouse or whatever just having a productive life where you're accomplishing things, that was my goal with my videos starting this summer. And then all of a sudden I decided to turn on that monetize button um, in July, late July, and see, let's see where this goes. That's what I told myself, let's see where this goes. And then, you know, in the middle of August, a company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be partnered with them and I will have a separate video on my experience and you know what to expect and all of that stuff. That'll be a completely separate video. And I got partnered with them and being partnered with them really really helped me. You know, it it it's I've gotten a ton more subscribers. I've gotten more followers on Instagram and and just been trying to put out quality content on all of my platforms and just seeing where it takes me. And so I would have to say like the last half of 2016, playing with Kristen Wise, I've had a pretty good year. Um, I love seeing the response. I love when someone says, I love this video, I love this photo, um, or thank you for saying this, or thank you for saying that. I really love that. Now in my personal life, the tail end of 2016 was not that great. Many of you guys know that um, December this year, December 5th, um, my grandmother passed. And I, I took that pretty hard because 
I don't handle death very well at all. I don't know anybody who really handles death well. But as many of you know, I have BPD and our emotions are very, very extreme. So it was very hard for me. And I'm still dealing with it. It still seems very surreal, especially when you lose a loved one. Um, it can be surreal for a long time. So in my personal life, it wasn't too great. But I just try to look at it like, okay, Kristen, you know, yes, it's sad that you lost someone. But, you know, your grandmother would want you to continue to do what you do and love what you do and just keep pushing. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So my 2016 was a, a roller coaster up and down, but I, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change anything planning with Christian related. I think everything happens in your life for a reason. I think everything that happened with PWK happened for a reason. And I do want to talk about the live streams live streams are some of my favorite things to do on my youtube channel because it really connects me with with you as the audience it's like sitting down with a friend or a group of girlfriends and we just sit and talk and i love doing those vi those videos the live streams um it's fun we can be petty but have fun it's everything is very very lighthearted. there have been times where I go on a couple of tangents and everything but anybody who has been subscribed to me for a really long time knows that I am a very very good person you know I don't I'm not on here to out I don't have a, like a hidden agenda to come on here I'm pretty transparent you know how I am in my live streams and how I am now talking to you is pretty much how I am off camera um so it is what it is. I do love doing the live streams. They're not going to stop unless something drastic happens and I need to stop them. It's just a lot of fun doing them. And you all seem to love them. Every time I do them, we can easily go to two and a half hours in the live stream. And it doesn't seem like it's that long because we're just having a lot of fun. And we laugh and we talk about serious issues. We talk about planner stuff too. Um, but we talk about life stuff and that is why I love doing it because as much as we love planners, there is more to our life than planners and I like that all of us have common interests and things that we love to talk about and it's just a lot of fun. So starting live streams this year was something that I didn't think I would do as often as I do. I do at least two live streams a week. I do them. I start, I switch them from Thursdays to Tuesdays um, and I do them in the afternoon and then I do my girls night in live stream. Um, those are always fun. I do them on Fridays. So there's always wine involved and those are always fun. They're always fun and uh, I just really, really enjoy them. So as far as 2016 goes, I've had a lot of fun and what I've learned in 2016 is that People do not like honesty. They really don't. And I am a person where if I am not honest on my live streams or during my YouTube videos or Instagram posts or whatever, then it's too much work to keep up with the facade. You know, when you tell the truth, there's nothing to remember. That's, you guys should remember that. When you tell the truth, there's nothing to remember. You know, I am who I am on and off camera. The way you see me talking now is the way I talk when I'm in my house and all of that stuff. And, you know, and I made a personal decision to, when I do my live streams, where you guys may hear me talk to my kids and you may see my youngest daughter in the room or if I'm doing an Instagram live stream, um, you'll hear me talk to my kids or whatever. And I've, I've opened up, you know, where I talk about more personal stuff like my BPD, my mental health. I think mental health should be talked about all the time. And... I did that so there's nothing to hide. So no one can dig up anything on me. I don't know why anybody would. So nobody can dig up anything on me and say, this is what I found about Kristen and this is, you know, she has a mental illness and all of this. I wanted to be the person to tell everybody that. That way if somebody says, oh, did you guys know that Kristen has BPD? Yes, we knew. She'd do a video on it. You know, um, that's why I decided to do live streams so they can be a little bit more personal. And that's why I decided to incorporate more personal style videos. So you guys can see another side of me and a side that relates. Cause I've done, I used to have a mental health channel, um, channel and it got shut down for whatever reason, I don't know why. But whenever I talk about mental health or I do a mental health video, someone always says thank you. And that is my goal. Because 
there are millions of people out there who suffer with mental illness, whether they know they have it or they don't. Nobody, everybody doesn't want to get on camera and everybody doesn't want to put themselves out there and they want, they suffer alone. And if I can help somebody with just my one video, then I've done my job. So doing those more personal videos and then also incorporating it into the live stream is very important to me and I'm glad that I do it. On a more serious note, um, you guys know I did a video recently called I Do Not Work For Michaels. And that video was fun to do. It was irritating, but it was fun to do. Um, and I, I got some flack in the comments, not a lot of flack, some flack. I ended up turning comments off of the video because I got one really bad hate comment. Um, they brought race and ethnicity into it, which had nothing to do with the video. Um, and I decided after that, I was going to turn off the comments. And the reason why I decided to turn off the comments is because this is my channel and this is my content. And as long as I am putting out content that is not breaking the rules of YouTube, I can pretty much put out any content I want. And my feelings are valid. So if I'm annoyed, I want to come over here and make a video saying I'm annoyed. Whether you, and as you in general, think my annoyance is justified or not, has nothing to do with you. It's me and my feelings are valid. So the reason I turn off comments for that video is because I should not have to explain anything to anyone on my channel. And that's why I turned it off. Um, but that video, that video was fun to do. And I realized that the more subscribers you get on a YouTube channel or the more followers you get on an Instagram or whatever, the more you open yourself to scrutiny, to jealousy, to hater comments, you open yourself up to that. And my motto for me for 2017 is delete and block. Those three words, delete and block. Um, I will no longer engage in the hate comments or the petty comments and everything because the saying, is this the hill you wanna die on? You gotta pick and choose your battles. And so I learned in 2016 that people can be very mean and you may be watching this saying, well, you've done some mean things. Maybe I have, but I will stand behind it. You know, if you think I've come across as this mean person, or really just spiteful person, that is fine. You have the right to feel that way. I will not debate you on that. But I also have the right to not feel the same way you do. Just like you have the right to feel that way, I have the right to not feel that way. And I noticed that also on YouTube, you get a lot of keyboard warriors <laughs> um, who will type a lot behind a keyboard but wouldn't dare say it to your face. And that's fine, that's fine, you know, because if you want to spend a, a you know 30 minutes typing an entire paragraph or whatever that's fine i'll just delete it and i end up winning in the end but yeah 2016 has taught me to have patience um to cherish what i have while it's still here so when it's gone i don't have any regrets it's also taught me that you can do what you love and get paid for it it's also taught me that less is more 2016 has also taught me that everyone is not your friend. It also taught me that you will find really great friends within this community. I consider a lot of girls on here, well not a lot, I consider a few girls in the planning community really good friends of mine. They know who they are. They know who you are. I don't need to say their names. Um, and I talk to them all the time. I consider them friends. I don't consider them like, oh, just some girl I know in the planning community. No, they are somebody where if I had their phone numbers, I would call them up and talk to them. You know, that type of thing. And I think with any community, whether you're in the makeup community or you're just somebody about online, when you can find friendships like that, value them and cherish them because true friendships are really hard to come by. And so that's what I learned in 2016, that when you find a good person and you find a good friend, keep them and cherish them and laugh with them, cry with them, all of that stuff. Um, but the majority of the planning community that I've come across has been very supportive. Um, has there been drama here and there with me included? Absolutely. Um, but the majority of the time for 2016 when it comes to planning has been a really, really fun time. I've learned a lot. And I'm still learning. I cannot complain. Um, to me, it's a great community to be in. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade any of it, the bad, the good, none of it. It's just been a really, really fun time. 
So yeah, I just want to come on and, and reflect and show you what I've learned in my 2015 and all of that stuff. And let me know in the comments what you learned in 2016, whatever it is, whether it has to do with the planning community or not. Let me know what you learned and let me know your plans for 2017. Let me know your plans. Because I think I'll make a video on that, like at the beginning of, in the middle of January, what are my plans are for this year. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're a new subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Um, and if you have anything that you would like to see from me for 2017, an idea, let me know. And if I already have it on paper, I will let you know. But please don't hesitate to give me ideas. I love it. So yeah, I will, I'm getting out of here and I will see you all next time.